Okay, for reading class today, we are going to read A Curious George. He makes pancakes, boys and girls. I love pancakes. In fact, I just had them for dinner not that long ago. They were delicious. What kind of pancakes do you like? Do you like regular pancakes? Do you like pancakes with chocolate chips in them? Do you like pancakes with banana in it? Or do you like blueberries? Or do you like peanut butter pancakes? Or do you like pancakes... Um, is there other kinds of pancakes? I don't know. My favorite kind of pancake is just plain pancake with some yummy syrup on top. Have you ever had flavored syrup? Oh, heavens to Betsy, it is delicious, like blueberry syrup. Yum. Okay, that would be my favorite, yes. Okay, so yeah. Mm, I'm almost drooling. You know how I love my food. All right, Curious George makes pancakes. This is George. George was a good little monkey. And always, but always, very curious. George, uh, one morning, the man with the yellow hat woke George early. Time to get up, George, he said. The pancake breakfast is today. Mm -mm -mm. Whoa, mama, look at this. Yeah, that's pretty exciting, isn't it? I'm going to tell you so you can see the book while I read. George loved the pancake breakfast. It was a fundraiser held every year to make money for special programs in the children's hospital. Besides eating pancakes, there were all kinds of games to play. Even the mayor came to play and eat. But first, he gave a welcome speech. That sounds like something I would want to do. This looks fun. You too? Coming, the mayor said, we appreciate your generous support. He thanked all the volunteers who were helping that day. And finally, he said, please enjoy yourself and the pancakes. When the mayor finished, the man with the yellow hat said, George, I'm going to buy our tickets. Please wait here and don't be too curious. George waited like a good little monkey, but mm, something smelled good. Is George going to be good and not be curious? No. Could it be the pancakes? George was curious. He followed the delicious smell and found a whole griddle. Look at this huge griddle. Found a huge whole griddle full of pancakes. George watched. Sorry. George watched as the man poured little batter circles and flipped them up in the air. Whoa. It looked like fun to make pancakes. George wanted to help. On the table near the griddle was a basket full of blueberries. These pancakes needed blueberries, George thought, and he sprinkled some on top. Meanwhile, the man in the griddle was so busy, he didn't notice the little monkey helping him. But the line grew and grew. George's pancakes were a hit. Soon everybody wanted them, and the man could not keep up. Please wait, he said to someone holding an empty plate. I need to find an assistant to help me. And just like that, he was gone. Mm, who do you think is going to be the assistant? George looked at the people waiting in line. And then at the empty griddle... Why, he could make pancakes. He could be the assistant. George poured the batter into nice round circles. Next, he added blueberries. He waited just a minute to let the pancakes cook. Then he flipped them over. Last, he added the syrup. The line for pancakes was enormous. But with four hands, George made quite a chef. And no one's plate was empty for long. I've been cooking to this breakfast, coming to this breakfast for years, a man said, but I've never seen pancakes like this before. I've never eaten this many pancakes before, said a girl. I didn't even like pancakes before, said another girl, and they all lined up for more. When the man returned with his new assistant, he was shocked to see a monkey making pancakes. This is no place for a monkey, he yelled, and he began to chase George. George hadn't meant to cause trouble. He only wanted to help. Now he wanted to get away. Quickly, George found a place to hide, and the man and his assistant ran right by. But where did George go? Do you see him? Yeah, good job.
When it was safe to come out, George jumped down. He was covered in syrup like a pancake, and he was sticking to everything. George was curious. Could these napkins help him get clean? Uh-oh. Did you see that coming? Can you get clean with napkins and syrup? Nope, the napkins just stick. No! The napkins only made it worse. What George needed was some water to wash with. Why, here was the perfect thing. Do you know what that is? George climbed up. This would do the trick for a sticky monkey. George sat on the bench and splashed himself with water. But all of a sudden, do you know what's gonna happen? Splash! George was in the water. What a surprise! George climbed up again and splashed back down. He'd never been in a dunk tank before and he never had so much fun getting clean. Soon, everyone was having fun and the line at the dunk tank grew even longer than the line for pancakes. Later, the mayor came by. I've heard all about your delicious pancakes, he said. You've made our fundraiser a big success and I have a special favor to ask you. Look at that line, whoa. At the end of the day, George got to the present, got to present the money from the fundraiser to the president of the hospital. Thanks to you, George, this has been our best year ever, he said. Will you come back and make pancakes again next year? Curious George nodded and everyone cheered. Okay, last week, remember, we talked about sequence and things having to go in order. Okay, in the book, they talked about George making pancakes. What did he have to do first? Pour the batter on the griddle. Then, what did he have to do? Sprinkle the blueberries. Then what did he have to do? Wait. Wait. Right? You have to wait for it to cook for just a little bit. Then what do you have to do? Flip it over, right? And then you can serve it. What if I put the blueberries in before I poured it? What if I tried to flip it before waiting? Oh my, that would be a mess, wouldn't it? Just be a mess. Today, I want you to write about pancakes. Okay? You can invent your own kind of pancake. You can tell me if you like pancakes, and you can tell me if your favorite, what your favorite pancake is, but I want you to tell me why. So you might say, I'd like to invent a birthday cake pancake because I think that sounds so delicious and I love cake. Or you might say, I love pancakes because the syrup on it is so sweet and it fills me up and makes me feel good. Or you might say, my favorite kind of pancake is regular pancake with blueberry syrup because the blueberry syrup is so sweet and good and the pancake soaks it all up. It tastes like almost candy. Okay. So I want you to tell me what and why. Okay, so you're gonna make a sense. Maybe you say, I don't like pancakes because they taste like bland bread to me. Okay, so you can also say, if you don't like them. Okay, so it has to be about pancakes, and I want the word because in your sentence. Okay, B E C A U S E, because, because, because. So your sentence is going to tell me what you invented or what's your favorite kind or if you like them. And then you're going to tell me why. Because and then why. Okay. Today, yesterday, you should have practiced your sight words. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So today, I'm going to leave a sentence for you to correct. Your parents are going to write it incorrect. You need to write it correctly below. 
okay? Think about what a sentence has to have for it to be a sentence, okay? Can't wait to see how you do that. All right, have a great, great day.